Hey everyone, Volger is here. Today we have my first ever tutorial on editing, and this is going to be the basics of Sony Vegas, just some things I think you should know. Uh, I'm going to try to explain everything, but I've never done a tutorial for it before, so I'm going to try to do my best. I don't have any setup prior to this video, so whatever I'm doing is just going to be you know, normal clips, it's not, uh, nothing was set up. So uh, let's try this. Um, open up Sony Vegas, I'm using Sony Vegas 9. Uh, Pro C version, and just to show you what it looks like when you're editing, this is uh, the new era montage I uploaded the other day. Um, actually, there would be a lot more tracks in this, but I pre-rendered it, which I'll show you guys how to do. Or I call it pre-rendering. I'm not quite sure the actual term for it. Um, and uh, basically, it allows me to like kind of minimize the amount of tracks. Like I don't know, I'll kind of explain it more later. But um, this is just kind of what you're going to be working with when you're editing. Um, <clears throat> so. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit File New, and most people have like their own presets. I just basically use the uh, what is it? HDV, High Definition Video, 720, 30 frames a second, and uh, 1280 by 720, 29.97 FPS frames per second. So um, hit OK. It's gonna start you off something looking like this. It's probably gonna look more like I don't know, like this a little bit. And you're gonna have a box right here that says Video Effects. Uh, if any, like if at any time you accidentally hit X, uh, notice how you can't get to that box anymore. If you just do View and then whatever you didn't get, so media generators, uh, now you have that. And if anything, how do you drag this back in? You can drag that in there, and it, par it adds it to part of these tabs. And uh, you're gonna notice this when you start editing that if you grab these little circles right here and you drag these out, it's gonna get kind of annoying working with them. So you can always just drag them back in, and it'll become part of this tab again. So. Just to show you something basic, um, if you want to import clips, it'll support a large variety of formats. Just do File, Import, and select where it is. I'm actually going to use this Explorer, like I said, because um, I have not, like, th this wasn't set up. So I don't know what clips are what, only the ones I named, which is nice, no scope, sweet, streak, edit, and plus one collateral. Those are the only ones I named. All these are still clips, but I didn't edit them yet. So um, that's why I'm using Explorer. And uh, Explorer is basically the same thing as importing. It's similar like Windows Explorer because it gives you all your directories and you can just select which clip you want and drag it down here. So um, this right here is a timeline. And just to get this out of the way, this right here is like a preview line. You just like drag us here. And uh, this is called a fourth. It is. I don't know why. Here. It's probably towards the end. Um, before you actually drag to your timeline. And I don't find this to have much use. Some people probably do. Um, there should be a drop down box. I forget. I haven't used this in a while. These are basically all the things you've ever used, all the clips you've ever had in this like box right here in the preview window. And um, yeah, I don't know. If you, if you want to use that, you can, but I really don't use it at all. So I just keep this like that. And I have more uh, room for my screen. Also, uh, Best Full is going to give you really good quality. Uh, I'm going to do Draft Half, which is what I usually do. And let's select our clips. So. If you do file import, uh, all your clips should be under project media, um, but I'm not doing that, and I'm just going to hit this plus one collateral. So uh, the sound is off, so what I'm going to do is delete the sound. Now you can do this by hitting the U button on your keyboard, which is going to, I think it's like unattach or unseparate or something, I don't know, like it means something, but all you got to know is it's U, and it basically it separates the audio from the video. And you can either sync it up with the gunshots, uh, clip out certain spots, or you can just hit the delete key on the audio and uh, now you don't have any audio so basically what you're going to do now is you notice that there's black bars on the side so um, you want to basically get these off and it, the clip is widescreen actually uh, it's just for some reason maybe maybe it's not I don't know um, probably because I recorded with Fraps no I recorded with Wii Game it's probably not so what you can always do is right click the clip if you have bars on the side and go properties and uh, uncheck this box that says maintain aspect ratio so um, if you have an HD PVR and you see like black bars on the side, that's something different. I can get that get to that later, or you can look it up on YouTube or something because it's pretty simple. But I I don't want to get into that now because I don't have an HD PVR. Um, and you want to basically you can use the arrow keys uh, depending on how much you're zoomed in. It can go frame by frame. Uh, if you want to zoom in, you can hit this little plus button right here, uh, zoom out minus button, and this button. What is that? I don't even know what that does. Um, or you can use your scroll wheel. And basically, you want to either drag this, 
use your arrow keys, or you can just simply click around and find the part of the clip where you want to start. Because of course, in your montage, it's not going to be the whole entire game, it's going to be a small clip of the game. So, I want mine to start, I know I die a few times in this, because this is, this is the whole entire, entire game. Let me see this. Um, that was the collateral right there, so, okay, I'm going to start the clip right here, so, alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, okay, now, I'm actually going to copy this clip, and I'm sure most of you know what copying and pasting is, right click it, do copy, uh, on another track, which you can insert another track by hitting, uh, by right clicking this, and do, uh, insert video track, and, uh, depending on which one's on top is going to depend on which one, like, you see first, and I'll get to that later. You're probably you probably already understand it, but I'm trying to make this be available to people who aren't really that like in editing and they want to you know make a simple edit. Um, and uh, basically, this is your video track. So uh, if it's a video track, you see these things that say level, and if it's uh, basically this is like opacity. If you guys know what opacity is, um, and this right here is uh, like sound, which we can actually delete this for now, but I'll add some music to this later. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically right now we have our uh, clip, and I said I want to paste this, and there actually is a reason why I want to paste this. Uh, basically now we have it on two, you know, the clips. Also, if you take the clip and you drag it, if you notice it's like a little like box, like a rectangle, um, that's going to create another track, and I don't want that to happen, so I can just do Control z and it's going to undo the last action I just did. So that's pretty simple. I hope I'm not talking too fast. I want to get this done, but, you know, at the same time I want it to be something, like, fast paced and uh... yeah so if you want to ever mute a track you can just hit these buttons right here and it does not show it and you're really not going to notice it right now because it's all the same clip and there's no music but say you have like you saw before um... or no you didn't see before i'm getting mixed up between my uh... videos because i made a few videos today if you want to like single out a track for example say you have like five audio tracks and like three video tracks or whatever and you want to single out one so you can specifically edit it, you can just hit this button right here and it mutes all the other tracks that have content on them. So, um, yeah. I'm kind of explaining this as I go along. But basically now what you want to do is you want to, um, what was I doing this for? Now that we have it widescreen, we're probably going to want to, uh, what are we going to want to do? Are you serious? I didn't clip this yet. Alright, whatever. Um, you're going to want to find the part where you want to clip it, which you probably already did which is right here, and you want to drag it. Now, you can drag it, which is what I'm doing in the first one, or you can split it. Now, I find splitting it actually more useful uh, than dragging it, and uh, I'll show you why in a second. Um, so splitting it, you can hit it by selecting the track and make sure your time marker is on it, and hit the S key, and basically it's going to split into two clips. You can delete the other one, or have just like a random track of just all cutout clips if you want, really, it doesn't matter. I you probably shouldn't do that because it's going to slow down your computer, but if you want to, you can. Um, but there is also a lot of advantages to splitting the track as opposed to doing that, and I'll show you one right here. So, most of you are probably going to drag it because that's something pretty simple to do. Uh, you just got to drag it, and it's, you know, simple. But, um, say, for example, you want to, like, make it, you can split the track in multiple places. So, you split it in multiple, like, right here. Uh, you can take this part out and drag this here, and you can play it, and it'll, like, skip. You see right there. Yeah, that was kind of a little bit laggy. But you can mess around with it. It's kind of hard for me to explain. Now that we have our two audio, uh, two video tracks, I'm going to show you how to like add effects to it. So the first one is how to make the track go faster. Now, say for example, you want specific parts. Now this is where it's going to come in handy, um, like splitting the clip, because you're not going to want to delete it every single time and recopy and paste it. You're just going to want to split it and make certain parts like faster and slower. Now there's two ways you can do this, which is why I split my clips into two. Uh, or copy two of them. And uh, basically, what you want to do the first way to make it go faster or slower is um, if you go switches, I think. No. Insert, remove um, envelope. And go velocity. This is going to give you a little velocity meter. And if you put this all the way up, it's going to go all, like, see that percent right there? Um, uh, whatever that percent is, is how f fast the video is going to go. So 200% is twice as fast. And if you play it, um, it's laggy. Basically, um, here's just a little tip. If your computer is laggy, I'm recording with Fraps, so mine is. You can just uh, click right above the timeline and drag these little arrows out. If you hit Shift and B, it's going to pre-render it. Alright, so basically it's going to, like, render it. And it's going to take a minute or two. 
Um, okay, so that, that's good enough for now. And basically, it's just going to like load it so it's not as laggy. And notice that this is actually faster than the clip would normally go. Alright, so also, I'm going to put this down to draft uh, half, so it's not as good of quality, because uh, it doesn't need to be. So that's one way you can do it. Also, uh, there's some advantages of doing it this way, and there's some disadvantages of doing it this way. Uh, now, an advantage is, because, watch, if you um, if you don't like splitting clips, this could actually turn out in your favor. Right before you, like, shoot the person, so watch, let's see, like, right... Like right before you zoom in, what you can do is you could zoom into the track and you can uh, add point and add another point and like make it go down back to 100%. So now it's going to slowly get back to the normal speed, if you notice. See, and now it's normal speed again. And then if you want to make it go faster again, you go add point and then add point again and make it go to however fast you want to. And basically, it's just like this is how fast you're going and 100% is regular speed. Do you see? It's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, and now it's fast again because this bar is up. I don't like that method that much. Um, it's really up to you which one you want to use. The only disadvantage of this I found is that your audio is not going to be uh, synced up with it, and um, I believe there is a way you can do that, but I'm not really so sure. Um, so your audio is going to be still playing the same pace that your regular, like the regular audio would be if you didn't speed the clip up. So, um. Let me just put that back to normal by hitting Control Z multiple times. Um, now, this is my more preferable way of like how to do this, and this won't mess with the sound. In fact, it'll make this. It'll actually compress the sound too, making the sound play faster. And you know, say you know if you want that, that'll be pretty good. And if you don't want that, just do what I did before. You know, uh, hit U. That'll separate the audio from the video, split the audio, and then delete certain parts of the audio. So um, I hope that makes sense. If you're this is a beginner tutorial. If you really are a beginner, you might not understand what I'm talking about. But, um, just mess around with this program, and you'll start to really understand it. Uh, so the next thing, yeah, so once you get to the point, like, you want to go slower, like right here, for example, right? As I zoom in, I want to go slower. Now, I'm going to show you something different in After Effects. It's called Twixter. Um, that's basically how you can make, like, you could add frames to it. But right here, I want to go slower. So I'm going to hit the S key. And right here, I will do that again. So I'm going to basically uh, say I want to, right here, the clip is going normal speed. And then this little part right here, it's still going normal speed. Let's pretend it's not. Where, whatever part we want the clip to go back to normal speed again, we're going to drag this clip to. Because now the clip's in three parts. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. Now right here, before you zoom in again, it just blanks out. So... What we're going to do is we're going to go on this clip right here and hit control and just drag this clip out. And um, you can only drag it out so much. I'm not really sure how much. But if you play, you notice it plays normal speed. And right before you zoom it again, it goes really slow. So there you go. That's really slow. Um, yeah, that's, I think I fell right here. Yeah. Um, so that's just another way. I'd recommend you do it this way. Uh, it's not necessarily as smooth like the other way of making it go faster. It's a little smoother, but um, that's just a, an idea. So let me undo that until we have our normal clip again. So here's our normal clip. Um, get that off of there. All right. So uh, this is the uh, second part. I'm gonna start off where I left off in the last part, and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can sync up the video with the audio. So um, I'm using the song "Still Alive," and if you uh, hear the beats. You notice that all these spikes are where the beats are. So let's play. You should be able to hear it. I know the audio is a bit low in this, but I'm um, using a different microphone. Anyway, um, uh, so what we want to do is find a beat that we want uh, the gunshot to start on. So let's. So right here, I want it to start, and if you zoom in, you could get exactly if you use the arrow keys. Um, excuse me. And basically, uh, if you drag this clip, you'll notice that um, this is whatever you're going to see at that moment in time. So you want it to be the gunshot because the gunshot can be lined up with the audio. So find where you shoot the gun, where you see the little gunshot come out, right there. 
See that right there? That's the gunshot. And if you play it, it'll match up. Alright, so besides the lag, you see what I'm talking about. Um, now what you want to do is right after you get that kill, you're going to hit S key on the video and you're going to split it and find the next part, next shot you make. So right here, right before here. I'm going to split right here. And uh, same thing, basically you want to hold in control and drag this all the way to the left and find the next beat you want to start on. So right here, um, zoom in and drag your uh, video clip. So find exactly where you get that shot. And it turns out I didn't do it right. So right like here, you got to split it again. You probably don't have to, but I just did it a little wrong. So. Um, find the beginning of the beat again. You see this beat so it looks like this when you zoom in. Um, if you ever need to make it so uh, snapping, like it, it doesn't snap, you see right here, usually it snaps to where my timeline, like where the time marker is. Now it doesn't if you uncheck that, so I'm just going to do that. Um, right where I get that shot. So right there. Now go options, enable snapping again. That's what I usually do. And play it and see what's up. So... And now all the beats should be uh, synced pretty good to the music. Uh, hold and shift and hit B, and it'll like I said before, it'll basically make it so you can play it without any lag. So this is what's gonna look like. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. I hope you guys enjoy these commentaries, by the way. Uh, Didn't count long, but I'm trying to explain as much as I can about the program. Alright, so that wasn't really that perfect, but um, I was just doing this pretty quickly, so you can definitely spend a lot of time on this and make it really good. But um, I think this is where I'm going to leave off for now. I don't know. Um, it's pretty simple. I, I realize I said um a lot, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, next commentary, if I make a next one, which I probably will because I don't want to like leave it here. I'm going to show you guys how you can add like effects and like screen shakes and things like that. It's going to make it look really cool. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to leave it off here.